to from our actual ongoing dialogue with nature and with each other in our gathering and our collective displays of disbelief in patriarchy and affirmation of devotion, really, to the earth. That seems like a good place to stop. It does. But I would like to ask another question, um, which is a question I get a lot is, so yeah, Derek, you say that the tree told you to write this. Um, and you're talking, you're encouraging people to listen to their dreams or to listen to trees. How, a question I get all the time is, so how do you learn to do that within this culture that teaches you? Having not been taught to do that from a, from a youth and been not taught to value that, right. how, how does one decolonize in that way? And how yeah. does one, how do you personally, uh, how have you personally learned how to listen? And I don't think I'm as good as, it, as I should be because I'm as enmeshed in you know, technology. I mean, one thing we have to do is get away. Did you notice all those screens that were in there, all those squares? Lame Deer, in his book, talks about how we have to get away from all these square screens that we're looking into all the time, right? And go back into the round, right? So in some ways, obviously, we have to go outside, <laughs> which we are encouraged more and more to be inside and in the virtual world more and more. So literally, but like you have to know the spirit of the place where you live, right? You have to go on, you know, you have to like make those steps to, um, and I know that like Thomas is going to talk about this later, like the kind of activism and the kind of knowledge about your community. The New York Times the other day did these <coughs> 10 communities that have done major environmental shifts, and you know what section of the paper <coughs> put it in? The style section. I guess it's women and gay people who are doing all this, right? <laughs> because that's where it was. But anyway. So, and, and also, yes, we, we have been trained against this. We all did it as kids, right? And Mary Daly, who, uh, I'll, I'll close with her then, she would say the way to do this is to go back to your elemental memories. You know, if you, however, what can get you, go outside, lay on the ground, go back to your deepest, earliest memories and like really ask them to teach you, you know, call out and, and cry out, really. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. So we're going to take another five-minute break.